Hello everyone. My name is Lucas and I'm a white cell. We're the kind of organisms that protect the body from bacteria that pose a threat to the body, but sometimes we're automatically led to corruption, meaning that we attack the body by mistake. This is very important for you to know. Sometimes the body causes destruction on itself. These are called autoimmune diseases. For unknown reasons, the immune system attacks healthy tissues of the body. There are about 80 cases of autoimmune diseases and the most well known of them is diabetes. Diabetes is a high level of glucose in the blood due to a disturbance of insulin in the body. Glucose is another word for sugar and insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas and the body needs insulin to control glucose. Insulin is like an opening the key to the body cells that allows glucose to travel through the body cells to make energy. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is when the immune system attacks and destroys the insulin producing cells in the pancreas. This is a very serious problem because without insulin the glucose can't travel through the body cells to make energy and the glucose levels in the blood rises up uncontrollably. The body can get rid of the extra glucose, but it causes many uncomfortable symptoms during the process, such as blurred vision, weight loss, tiredness, continuous thirst and hunger, and constant urination. But undiagnosed diabetes can also cause secondary infections due to the large amount of glucose. Since a lot of glucose is disposed of through the urine, this causes bacterial activity and may cause genital itching. Undiagnosed diabetes can also cause thrush disease Also, flesh wounds would be slow to heal because bacteria would also tend to breed around them due to large amounts of glucose in the body. No one really understands why the body sometimes does this and there is no treatment to permanently stop this type of disease. People with type 1 diabetes will be condemned to make themselves an injection of insulin for the rest of their lives. Type 1 diabetics are insulin dependent and type 1 diabetes also tends to happen quite a lot in children. With type 2 diabetes, the immune system doesn't attack the insulin producing cells and the insulin travels as usual alongside the glucose but for unknown reasons, the cells don't respond to the insulin and the glucose levels once again rises up uncontrollably in the blood. The symptoms in type 2 diabetes are exactly the same as the symptoms of type 1 diabetes but take much longer to show up. With type 2 diabetes, demands for insulin and glucose increase a lot but for the insulin producing cells, these demands are too strong for them and will destroy themselves little by little. Type 2 diabetics are insulin resistant and will always have to take a medication called metformin that lowers the blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes tends to happen to older people. But type 2 diabetes can sometimes be self-inflicting in younger people if they eat too much unhealthy food getting overweight and not doing much exercise because the insulin cannot access the cells for the glucose due to fat deposits blocking the cells. One of the things that can help is to make a diet. Do exercise, have healthy meals and take good care of your body. Even if the body is more under control after a perfect diet, metformin is still vital for the body to function properly. That's all for today. I hope you understood the lesson and see you again soon. Goodbye.